Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video and I've got this little series for you. I'm actually going to give you some really good Black Ops 2 classes. I'm going to share my information that I gained from playing the game and give you some great classes that are actually going to get you started in the game. So today is going to be a shotgun class. You can see it on screen right now, it's going to have the R870 MCS as the primary. I'm actually going to have a little bit of gameplay in the background with the R870. It's a really good shotgun, you know, I think it's up there, it's going to be one of the best shotguns. I'm actually going to cover all the shotguns in a little bit more depth in a few videos time. But the R870 you can probably see from this gameplay, it kind of reminds me of a kind of beefed up stakeout and the stakeout was obviously a shotgun in the original black ops so it's a little bit like that i do think the time between shots or like the kind of time it takes you to pump the shotgun is a little bit shorter so that's actually a lot better and i do think it's a good shotgun now the primary attachments and you guys are going to be seeing in a lot of these classes i am going to be using three primary attachments i'm going to have to use the primary gunfighter wildcard as you can see down there the primary attachments are going to be the adjustable stock the long barrel and the quick draw handle so the adjustable stock is actually going to give you the stalker pack from modern warfare 3 just means that when you actually aim down sight you can move a lot faster and I do think that when you're actually using this gun you don't actually have to be aimed down sight to make it the most efficient I don't think that firing from the hip as you can probably see in the gameplay works as effectively as aiming down sight so that's why I actually use the adjustable stock so you could kind of be aimed down sight and kind of get in and out of cover quickly now next one the long barrel this to me is a no-brainer the long barrel is actually going to give you increased range and this is very much like the range proficiency that we saw in Modern Warfare 3 and obviously with a shotgun one of the biggest things that's actually hindering you is the range of the gun so that long barrel attachment just means that you're actually gonna get more one hit kills from further distances now the final attachment is going to be the quick draw handle again this is geared to aiming down sight it's going to allow you to aim down your sights a lot faster the main thing that I actually thought about when I was using this class was should I use the laser sight or not and I kind of played it so that I could kind of not be shooting from the hip and I'd mainly be aiming down sight so that's why I didn't actually choose that. For the secondary I've just skipped the secondary. In this year's game I think I'm going to be foregoing a secondary in many of my classes. You can just pick one up off the ground when it suits you. One thing I did want to mention in this video was about primary weapons and secondary weapons because in Black Ops 2 they're adding a new feature where you can actually prestige the level of your gun. So as you guys would have known from watching my previous videos you can actually rank up your guns in this year's game and that's how you can actually unlock a lot of the kind of camouflages and stuff like that and this prestige level is going to be totally independent to your player level and as I said earlier you can prestige twice so that's really interesting it's going to add something new to the game next moving on with this class we have the perks and the perks are going to be very important lightweight is going to allow you to get close to your enemies the toughness perk for me was you know quite essential because when you're actually dealing with a high damage weapon such as a shotgun if you actually take bullets first you don't want to be hit off course so having toughness means that even if you do take bullets first as long as you get that shotgun shot off you might actually still get the kill now finally we have dexterity and one of the key things about dexterity is the fact that this is actually going to allow you to aim down sight quicker after sprinting and fire quicker after sprinting which when you're kind of running and gunning which you will be with a shotgun you can actually want to be sprinting to get close to the enemies then this dexterity perk is going to help you fire straight after you've been sprinting I actually didn't have enough points left for lethal grenades and then use two tactical grenades being the sensor grenades and these are going to be really good I'm actually going to cover all the tactical equipment in another video Finally, to round off the class, we actually have the score streaks, just going for the UAV and the counter UAV. And I purposely wanted to do this because I think, you know, going with a shotgun, it's going to be hard to get super high streaks. And I wanted to do it like this because I wanted to tell you guys that when you actually have two kill streaks, they are going to cycle between them like they did in Modern Warfare 3. And we actually didn't see that in any previous games. So it's going to be the same thing. You're going to get a UAV, you're going to get a counter UAV, then your points are going to kind of start again, start working to the UAV again. You don't have to die in between. And it does actually cycle with only two kill streaks. So when it goes, that's the class i hope you find it a good class to run i guarantee you this is going to work really well something i'm going to be using on opening day if you enjoyed the video guys please drop a like it really helps out my channel make sure to subscribe if you are new and check out a couple of my previous videos got those on screen right now so just want to say a big thanks to watching guys and i'll catch you again with another video very soon objective parameters obtained well done